always when it comes to eyes, I'm starting with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base because this just stops anything from creasing. I do have quite oily eyelids, so I just pop this on and then my eyeshadow stays put all day. And you don't need much of this product at all. Just for the brows, I'm going to take the Lock and Load palette and grab one of the brow shades. I'm going to grab this dark brow shade here and pop that through my eyebrows with a angled brush. Today I'm going to be creating my eye look from the Iconic 3 palette, so let me get it in the shot. Um, this is attempting to be a dupe for the Naked 3. It literally has the same colour line up. It's got a dupe for each shade and similar sort of packaging, well, <clears throat> similar sort of layout in the sort of strips of eyeshadow, so I'm going to attempt to use this. I've kind of been testing out these shadows and so far so good, so I'm going to show you them in action so you can kind of see for yourself. First I'm just going to grab my E40 and this sort of light mauve type matte shade and pop that through the crease. Out of all the shades I do find that the mattes probably give the worst payoff but they can build up fairly nicely. Then I'm going to grab my Zoeva 227, just a fluffy crease brush. I'm just going to pop a small bit of the darker matte shade through the lid, not too much, just to give a bit of dimension. So I've just grabbed a little bit on the kind of tip of my brush. I'm just popping that through the crease. Slightly lower than the other shade. And then blending. There's so many pretty shades in this, it's hard to choose. But I think I'm going to mix um, this shade here, the second one, and then this gold shade. And sort of get that rose gold wash of colour over the lid. And I'm going to take my large shader E60 and just pop that all over. So just taking a mix of those two and literally just putting it all over the lid. Oh, it's pretty. You can see here the pigmentation is pretty good, like it's coming up well. Um, I think I'm going to take a bit more of just that lighter shade and a, just a small amount of the gold. I want it a bit more pinky. I want to get a little bit of um, light into this, so I'm just going to grab the lightest matte cream shade on the other side of the brush and just pop that in the kind of inner third of the eye, just to sort of brighten it up a little bit. don't need too much, just a touch there, just to, yeah, brighten it up. I'm going to go back to that Zoeva I used earlier, the fluffy brush, and I'm going to hit up the other side of the palette. So I think I might go for this one here. Um, I guess it's sort of a brownish, darker brown colour. I'm just kind of playing at the moment, so we'll just see how it turns out, but I want to add a bit of depth. So again, not too much, kind of less is more, you can always add. And just pop this in the outer corner. See how it comes out. Okay, I'm going to take a touch more. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this darkest shade here, it's sort of a black with some shimmer through it. It's pretty dark actually, um, but it does have some sort of glitter through it. So I'm going to take it on a E30 just pencil brush and kind of draw it out where I want it, just on the outer V, and then blend it out, because I don't want too much product here. It is quite dark and 
I just want to add a bit more depth but not too dark so I'm just going to draw it out just really on the outer corner and this is a good way to sort of add black without being too harsh and you can just have a bit more control over it and then go in and blend it and then that's really all I want in terms of black not too much and then just repeat for the other side okay just to add a bit more gold I'm going to take this gold shade again and just pop a tiny bit in the center of my lid with my E55 shader flat shader brush the center and then I'm going to take a clean brush and blend well a cleaner brush blend those together and then lastly I'm going to go back in with my E40 and the lightest matte mauve colour again and just blend it in through the crease to make sure that it's just all blended together and it's not too harsh up there so just take that and just blend it through don't even really need to add products you can just do it without any but I'm just adding a touch and then I'm just going to grab that large shader again and the light matte matte cream and just put that under my brow bone. I went and did most of the rest of my other makeup off camera. Um, I will link all the products I've got on my face below if you're interested. But now I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. I wasn't going to but I've decided that I want to. Back to the E30 pencil brush and then I'm going to grab this shade again, this one, and pop that on the lower lash line. I did already put my lower lash mascara on but that's okay, I can get underneath that. I think. Taking it on the outer two thirds, so quite far in. Just blend that a little bit with my E36 brush. And I'm going to grab the second shade and my Real Techniques accent brush and just put that on the inner corners as a sort of inner highlight. So I picked up a few lipsticks from the line. I've got Depraved, which is the purple. I show this in my monthly favourites. Encore, which is more of a sort of pearly pink. I haven't showed this one, so I'll just swatch that for you quickly. So it's like that. And then the one I'm going to use today is Beloved. This one here. I've got quite a lot going on with the eyes, so this is just more of a sheer... It's a brighter colour but it's just a bit more sheer so I'm just going to pop this onto the lips. I'm really impressed with these lipsticks, they're only £1 and they're good, I really like them. This can be a little bit waxy and drying so I'm just going to pop on some lip balm underneath. I'm going to take my Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm and just put that underneath. My lips tend to dry out fairly easily so that's just a good step to try and prevent that happening and then pop this over the top. So you can see from like one application it's quite a sheer colour but if you just keep building up it will sort of shine through. Okay, so I've built that up now to be a bit more of a sort of pinky lip. I just love the tone of this lipstick. I think it's so flattering and I just think it's like the perfect colour for me. And it's nice to have something a bit sheer because I do have a lot of pink lipstick so this is a bit different. And the other two are a lot more pigmented so they have like pigment in some of them. I think there's a bit of a mixture in the range. I definitely want to try more from this range though. So this is how the eyes turned out with my Iconic 3 palette. 